Our changing climate could end up releasing a doomsday glacier. The Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica is about the size of Florida and is the widest glacier in the world. Right now, it's responsible for about 4% of global sea level rise, but that could increase significantly. Warmer ocean temperatures are not only melting the glacier, a recent study has found that they're also cracking the ice shelf, holding it back. And if that ice shelf fails and the glacier can flow, and it can melt freely, which is obviously not a good thing. It could raise global sea levels by several feet. It could lead to even more sea level rise up to 10 feet if it draws surrounding glaciers, kind of a domino effect and then around it, endangering even more communities along the coast. Now, scientists worry that the ice shelf could collapse within the next few years, leading to additional sea level rise within several decades. So this is obviously a, a big finding here. So wow. let's talk about this. So right. Caitlin, hold this for me. Okay, I will. So, so let's bring this home. Let's talk about how this could impact us here in Tampa Bay. So I'm just going to we're not even going to talk about the future. Let's just talk about the past so far. Right. Since 1947, we've seen about eight and a half inches of sea level rise at the tide gauge Which in St. Pete. Which is significant. I mean, that's, that's eight inches, right? But that's just since 1947. So let's go into the future now. Let's go to 2050. Scientists are predicting that we could see here in Tampa Bay between 11 inches and two and a half feet of sea level rise by 2050. So two and a half feet, I mean, that almost takes you up to the top of right. our, our uh, yardstick here. But... Looking ahead to 2100, so we're talking about, what, a, a generation down the road, maybe two generations, kids, grandkids. We could see potentially as much as, and this is a, a forecast, 8.5 feet of sea level rise by 2100. That's here in Tampa Bay. Think about your coast. Yeah. Think about your backyards if All you live at the beach. All the communities that live mm -hmm. along the coastline, yep. too. Yep. You talk I mean, about the numbers, but this right here makes it tangible, Grant. This is three feet, right? A right. yard six, three feet. Double this. Yeah. Triple this. That's what we could see for sea level rise, and that's and, th and that's not talking about the impacts from this glacier potentially collapsing and then releasing all of that water into our oceans. Things are changing. Mm -hmm. we, we have to start you know, recognizing you know what these impacts could be if we don't start making changes right now. And no doubt. Time is now, guys.